Hello, how are you my people? What's up, what's up, what's up? How have you been? So um, let me start with good news. Mm -hmm. So last, uh, in the last three months, we, our views have gone up. <laughs> my sub in fact, I was just looking, my subscriber count in March was at 2,000 and now we are heading to 4,500. Hallelujah. Drum rolls, please. Do -do 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 okay <laughs> so clap for yourselves thank you so much thank you to everybody who watches my video every week remember i told you eh, i pay attention i be paying attention once the money hits my account eh? iphones range rover whatever you want <laughs> anyway guys how are you doing i am so sleepy do you see but my, my, my left eye has like a reddish part. Yeah. But anyway, I have to record this video because, hey, consistency. Consistency. Let me clap for myself for being consistent. <laughs> yeah. So, guys. Um, so, uh, today's video is kind of, you know. <laughs> uh, first of all, let me start by welcoming anybody who is new and watching this video. Please feel free to subscribe. Watch this video till the end. Uh, every Tuesday and Friday, I give you fresh videos. And today's video is fresh, brand, hot, and new, and smoking. <laughs> Today, it's a story time series and if you have not watched my other stories please uh look at the subscription of this video uh sorry look at the description of this video <laughs> hey i am used to telling you people subscribe subscribe anyway look at the description uh in the video and then you're going to get the links of the other uh story time series that i started and uh yeah so let's get entertained hi so uh <laughs> I know this is going to sound very strange, but for some strange reason, I always wanted to have international friends. I don't know why. I just feel like I used to think that if I have international friends, then it's going to be like a cool thing or something. I don't know why. Yeah. So, uh, I remember this one uh, time my friend came... I was in college back, uh, I think in 2013, 2014, thereabout. My friend uh, came to school one morning and she was so tired. And I'm like, why? Why are you so sleepy today? Are the lectures that boring? And she's like, no, I was up all night talking to my friend from Australia. And I'm like, ah, Papa God, these are the kind of problems I want. But my village people, they will not let me prosper. They will not. Hmm? So... I told her, how can I get international friends? And I told me, uh, she told me, uh, you know what you can do? You can get like into a dating site. You don't really have to like be looking for a date in a dating site. You can always be looking for friends. And I was like, okay, that is a good idea. So I asked her which dating site in particular. So she directed me to one called uh, Tag. I don't know whether it still exists though. If it exists, please let me know. So uh, I got into this dating site and I'm like, all the people I kept finding there were either Nigerian men that I didn't really like or uh, weird Indians or people from the UAE countries that were like, want to see? Want to see me? Want to see me give you milk? Yeah, that is, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so I was like, okay, this thing is not working. So when I was about to actually deactivate it because I felt like it was not really doing me any, um, it wasn't giving me any value. I just said, Fali, Chai, Papa God, my village people have followed me to YouTube. Uh -uh, you cannot do this to me. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I, I felt like it was not adding value to me and it was not even giving me international friends. So I was like, ah, you know what? To hell, to hell, to rules, those hairs. <laughs> and then uh, this, I. I, one time, I think one afternoon I was bored and I logged in, then I saw this uh, message from this guy, like, hi Doreen, uh, so I just saw your profile and it looks so interesting and I would really want us to talk, but then I want us to talk something that is more business. I'm like, business, does he want me to sell him my kidney or 
Uh, and then I started calculating the value of a kidney and then I saw I was about to become a millionaire and that was not a really bad thing because I can use one kidney, you know. And then, uh, until I realized that people living with HIV cannot really donate their organs. So, uh, as we were conversing, he t I asked him what business. He told me we need to meet personally and talk and then, you know, uh, he'll get to tell me. So we set a date and he was not those typical guys on the side hitting on you. Mm -mm. Actually, I think that is the red flag I never really saw. And it didn't really look like a red flag, I see. So I went, I met him. Uh, but he actually, he set up a date at some place in Karen. So we were there talking. You know those places where you go, they ask you, uh, so what will you have? You say water. They ask you, hot water, warm water, lukewarm water, cold water, uh, distilled water, uh, the other water that has bubbles in it, what is its name? The one like aqua mist, but it's bubbly. There is a name it is called. You know, like the instead of the, you, you are about to tell them, give me water. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care whether it's sweet flavored, whatever, just give me water. You know, so we went to that kind of place. And uh, then I ordered food. That actually, <laughs> that was my first time to uh, get to wash. I don't know whether it's washing your hands or just cleaning your hands with a hot towel. Kwanzaa, when, <laughs> when they brought the hot towel, I was like, Okay, so so what does what does the towel do? So instead of me asking, I waited for him to do it, and then and then I called, and then I called like see what he was doing. So he wiped his hands, and I was ah okay, it's for wiping hands. Aha. So I wiped my hands with it. So after he went, after the towel person went, so we were there, I was asking him, so what do you do? Uh, what kind of business proposal do you have in mind and all that? So he was like, uh, first of all, he told me he is a thief. I laughed because I'm like, hi, thieves don't say that they're really thieves, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, uh, yeah, I'm actually a thief. And I was like, I know you can't be a thief. <laughs> He was, he is a thief. He was a thief. Okay. Let us, you will, you will learn very soon how he was a thief. So I later on asked him, actually, tell me like the truth. What do you do? So he told me, I make money. I'm like, uh, the essence of life is basically to make money. So he told me, yeah, but uh, personally I make like, I literally make money. So I told him, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. That's good. We can do with that. So he told me he has a cousin who works for De La Rue and uh, the cousin brings him um, um, money-making equipment. And as much as he, has a, he had a Nigerian uh, accent, he lied to me that he's from a country called Sao Tome and Principe, a country I went to visit one day and become president there. <laughs> Very valid dreams. Very, very valid dreams. So, uh, he, he, I, I, in fact, that I think was the very first time I heard of a, such a country. So, I googled and I'm like, oh, okay, he's from, he's at Sao Tome. What, what are people from Sao Tome and Principe called? If not Sao Tome, in hope. Moving on swiftly. So, there we are. Uh, Mr. Man is there telling me, uh, you know, my work is to make money and i know you're just a student so probably you don't have the kind of money i want let me tell you when the devil cannot reach you he sends your village people who sends us out to miss who comes to scam you of money you do not have let me i will get where my village people come inside the store so my mom had uh, had sold our matatu we used to have a matatu so when she had sold the matatu, she had a uh, matatu for those people who don't understand local language is a, uh, we had a public uh, transport vehicle that used to uh, to uh, <laughs> carry people to and from. <laughs> I'm trying to, to find the right English word and I can't still find it. So yeah, we used to have a, a matatu and uh, she sold it. So she deposited the money into my account. And... So you see, I had money. Like I was rich. Anyhow, so, so uh, 
And that is how now my village people came and sent the Sautomi man into my life. So the Sautomi man is like, I know you don't have the money. I'm like, oh no, you know, try me, try me, boy. Mm -hmm. I got money, I got cash. <laughs> cash that was not even mine. <laughs> so uh, he told me, do you have 200 shillings? I did not have 200 shillings. I had only 500 shillings between me and life. <laughs> Basically, that was like my half of the allowance that I was given every week. So he's like, okay, uh, give me that 500. I was like, if he, if he runs away with my 500, how am I going to reach home? Hi. But he, he, he actually uh, took the money asked the waitress for warm water and then told me just a minute i'm going to multiply your money i'm like uh -huh, uh -huh, you know i'm about to become a rich human being <laughs> let me tell you there is nothing as easy money it is always a scam it is a fraud it is a big fat fraud so mr man uh takes the money mixes it with some weird chemicals boom i have 1500 shillings to my 500 give back mm -hmm. to two bits I am like, eesh, my father was pregnant and now it has two children. Ah. So I actually thought it was, um, it was fake money. So I went to the supermarket with that money. I don't know if they would have been arrested at the supermarket, what I would have said. But I, I used that money to shop and I came back home. So when I was home, uh, that we met on a Friday. On Sunday, he sends me a text. Hi, can you please send me a hundred shillings credit? I'm like, this man just spent 5,000 shillings on our bill. Why is it that right now, two days later, he is now asking me for a hundred shillings credit? That, it does not make sense. It does not add up. It is minus times, board mass, you know, find Y equals to X, M, X, Z, C. It does not make sense at all. So I told him I don't have money. So I told me, yeah, you know, I'm like, here, you know, here in Karen, we can't go out easily to go and find credit. I'm like, ah, okay, it, uh, at this point, you will just have to send someone. So he told me, okay, let me wait for the household to come and then I will send uh, her for credit. Because he had told me he is living with that, his cousin who works for Delaro. By the way, funny thing is, I don't know anybody who works for Delaro. Who exactly works for at Delaro, who prints money? <laughs> that has been my million dollar question my whole life. Because there are too, ma too many myths of people saying the people working at Delaro, they are blind, they are deaf, they, you know, too many conspiracy theories. <laughs> One day I would like to find out actually. So, uh, Mr. Man comes, uh, he told me, no, okay. So let me take you back a little bit to our Friday date. After he multiplied my money, he told me, bring me 20,000. I make it 60,000 for you. After that, you have your money. I was like, I'm about to be rich. I'm about to be rich. And in fact, no, this is, this is, this is where I was about to make a very, very wrong choice. I was actually about to go withdraw the money my mom had put into my account, give it to this man, he multiplies my money. I take it back to my mom's account and boom, she never finds out. I think by now I would have been dissolved. So the guy is like, ah, okay, you, you just bring the money on Monday. So that Monday, my mom wakes up in the morning and tells me, you know what, uh, we are going to withdraw that money. Like, Okay, I think at that point, my village people, they were sleeping. They did not realize. So we went to the bank with my mom. She withdrew all the money and we went, she went back home. I went back to school. So this guy started giving me pressure. Where you you not put the money? I told him there was an issue with the money. So we'll have to wait for a little bit uh, of time. So I started not asking my friends for money. I told him, how about I find like half the money, like 10K. You multiply it to 30K. I give you like 10. I go with 10. I refund the owner 10. You see, that was good mathematic. Mm -hmm. So uh, I asked my, first, uh, my friend at first. He told me to wait. Because I told him I was actually going to pay him with interest. So he told me, you have to wait for a while. Uh, I will send you the money. 
And then I was like, no, this one does not know that right here I am working against time. This opportunity only comes once. <laughs> so, uh, kidogo, kidogo, I asked another guy. I told him I will pay you in two days' time with interest. He asked me, are you going to do, uh, are you, have you been involved in a wash wash scam? I'm like, what is wash wash? He told me, it's like a scam when West Africans are involved in and they ask for money, they tell you they're going to double it and then you end up getting yourself washed. I told him, no, I can't do such a thing. I'm a smart girl, like, you know, I can't do such a thing. Then he told me, uh, okay, but uh, I don't have the 10K at the moment. So I went online, I googled, wash wash scam. I saw it's a scam that mostly uh, the people involved were West Africans. Hey, I was like, hey. okay, mm, all right, no problem. So I texted him and asked him, is what you're going to do a wash wash scam? And he's like, you stupid girl, I want to help you and you're calling me a scammer, you're calling me a thief, you're calling me this and that. That is when I realized Mr. Sautomis was actually a scammer. That is when it all made sense that all you wanted to do was wash my money away. And I was there, ready to be washed of money that was not my own. <laughs> By now my mom would have disowned me. Ah, sips water. I would like right now have been parentless if I would have ended up falling for that scam. <laughs> what I can tell you is anything that looks like easy money, <laughs> think twice, think three times, think four or five or six or seven or eight times so that you do not end up like me. So later on when this guy realized that I had become smart, than him because he started now telling me come to uh, this mall uh, what is the name of this mall? Galeria uh, we have changed locations because at some point I lied to him and told him I already got the money and uh, I just I told him you know what I don't have the money hey, he started uh, abusing me, sending me abusive text, texts. I would block him in on one number, he will send me again on another number, and another number, and another number. <sighs> I, I, I just got tired. I think he also got tired, but thank God I did not have the money to be scammed, or my village people did not succeed that particular moment. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, the results would have been bad so if anybody approaches you online with a deal that looks so good sounds so good please i also see people saying i've gotten this guy he's from singapore malaysia i don't know where and he's there telling people uh, he's telling me he's sending me some goods and i need to send money for clearance don't fall for that it's a scam it is a big fat fraud scam a lot of people lose up to 50 million dollars per year in online dating scams. So don't fall for it, okay? The minute they start sounding like they want money, do says, chuck your do says, okay? So that was it for now. Uh, and I hope you learn from my experiences and I hope you're enjoying my story time series. Please give me feedback at the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and share and watch this video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.